Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 13 and the finale of my seven toddler challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we're where we left off last time. We uh, Grant has woken up, so he's going potty. So let's see how he's doing with his skill. He's still going. He hasn't maxed it. And then I don't know what he's going to do there. He's going to go dance. Well, we'll have to stop that and get him to do something that helps him with imagination. Perhaps coming in playing with the dollhouse would be a good thing for him to do. And there's that. Oh, there he goes. He reached a level. Uh, <laughs> he maxed it. But I also noticed that this garbage is really, really full over here. So we're going to have her sort out some recyclables. I guess we could try her, try and have her dive for deals for that matter. So you don't need to play. I need Grant to play with that. And we're getting more garbage put in there. It's all, we're already so full. So you're going to join playing the dolls, Grant. She's taking the garbage out. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but whatever. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, that's, I've got to go back. Are you going to actually play? Play dolls. I guess, I guess this is one time where making the mess wouldn't be actually quite as bad. So it's still, there's flies. So we want to, it was too full. We couldn't even disco nap. Not that I would want a disco nap in there, but I did notice that. Uh, let's just sort out recyclables. Forget that. Forget that. She's not someone who, oh, she's uncomfortable. Oh, that's funny. I'm used to having Sims who uh, have the freaking trait and they love dumpster diving. She obviously does not. Okay, can we sort out the recyclables? <laughs> can we get this emptied a little bit? Oh, she's picking that up and putting that in. Maybe she can't because we don't need that water. Okay, now you can, I think. Try now. Let's get some of the stuff out of there and then we can... Try and clear the, f the flies. Did you, are you doing what I asked you to? Oh, you've got everything. So now it's only Colleen left to max her skills, max her potty for that matter. So we will sort out recyclables again just to get this down. Actually, while I'm doing it, it's maybe too late, but let's stick her onto the master maker aspiration. There we go. Because she has to recycle, so it may may count it may not count <laughs> we'll try it again okay we don't oh you're gonna put garbage in there too <laughs> oh, funny it's like non-stop i'll be glad when these toddlers <laughs> age up so speaking of that i do have the vote that i linked with the last part and i will link it down below the vote will be open until friday june 26th as to uh whether you're interested in seeing them in a essentially super kids challenge where we will have all of the toddlers who will then be children max their, um, essentially complete all four aspirations, max their scouts and, and get their character values into a positive range. So, hmm. Why don't we try to clear the, uh, so it doesn't help. Recycling from here to there doesn't seem to be counting, but we are at least getting some things added now are you clearing those flies I wish we could call an exterminator i have to say that because that was the whole reason we got rid of the last thing they came really really quickly oh she's not doing very well uh, <laughs> it's all dirty okay oh and now she's angry from clearing or bonding with flies okay well we'll just leave that for now all righty now colleen you're actually getting really hungry and you have to go to the potty and you don't have anything in your inventory. So I'm going to quickly pause and see if we can find something to give you. That's not spoiled because we wouldn't want that. We'll give you uh, blackberries and pear. Well, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll give you <laughs> a mushroom. That should be good enough. You can have a blackberry and a mushroom. And let's just put the walls down. So we can see where are you sleeping. You're sleeping here. And then when you're finished with that, why don't you go potty? You don't need to be taught. Oh, we can put a book there, which I probably won't do, won't do that. It's flatter than the thing that I have there. That's probably why. So hopefully you get that. 
And we need to make some cakes because we're pretty close. But have we? can we breed the frogs? We can indeed breed the frogs. But I'm actually going to have her set up to cook a, a... Let me check. Is she hungry first? I don't want her eating the cake. She's a little bit hungry. I think we have enough leftovers in here. So we'll just eat. You don't need to sleep anymore. You're, you're, you need to eat is what you do need to do, Colleen. Edward, you need to go potty. So why don't you go potty? And I can't remember where your skill is. You've max cooking. And gourmet's even at two. That's good. And it's about to change. Oh, it has changed. It's fall, so I need to rearrange the garden. I did take some things that were summer and put them inside so they were sheltered already. But there were some fall items that can get moved out, but I didn't put them in. I didn't put them out ahead of it changing to fall because I wasn't sure what the impact would be. So how are you doing? Once you finish that, I would like you to come here and cook a couple of cakes. Because hopefully, hopefully we can reuse the cakes, but we'll make some cakes. Maybe I shouldn't make that cake. <laughs> cook. Uh, we'll make a, a white cake to start. And then we'll make a chocolate cake. And I'm just looking at the ones that are cheaper. That's why <laughs> I, I canceled the hamburger one. Because it costs more. So we'll breed the frogs so that we can get a little bit more money before we age up everybody. And have you not had an... Okay, I'll just breed the frogs and then I'll check in on your food after that. And uh, they're all just doing their own thing. I just kind of think I wonder whether I need some food out for them to eat. Add to favorites so that they all don't aren't getting too hungry i must still be in colleen's inventory i must not move them out properly which is correct and she's playing in there <laughs> that's funny and there she is coming to play did she max her potty skill because if she didn't she's going right back on the potty <laughs> she needs to get that up i didn't uh the messages are not let me see Yay, she did. So they have all maxed all of their skills. So it took just, 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 just under a week to get them all because we started at 8 a.m. Sunday morning and now it is 3.37 a.m. <laughs> so that's good. Did we get rid of, what, did we get rid of the flies? Oh, good, they're gone. She might have gotten angry, but she got rid of the flies. So that's what is a good thing. So you don't need to eat that anymore. Oh, she's stretching because <laughs> there's a child, a toddler in a tiny house and they, they tend to do that glitching a little bit. So I should check in on how hungry all of the kids are. So she's a little bit hungry. So let me see what I can find here. There's six of those. So we'll stick those on the floor and you can come grab a serving. Edward, let me check your needs. That's more important. You're not that bad. So you can keep doing what you're doing. Grant, you're having fun playing, but you're hungry, so you should come grab a serving. And Colleen, you're the one who made me think about it. Let's just, yep, everything's maxed. And Abigail, <laughs> we'll go back to, you're okay, you can keep sleeping. Freddie, you kind of need to go potty. You don't need to sleep anymore, and then you should come grab something to eat. Hopefully there's, hopefully there'll be food. There's three left. I don't know if people are still coming to get it. And Declan, you're a bit hungry and you kind of have to go potty too, but you don't really need to sleep anymore. I don't know why. Anyways, he's fine. Okay, so she's made the first cake. I want to make sure we have more than one cake just in case it um, it gets eaten. <laughs> then we have all the cakes ready. I'm not, I don't think I'll make seven cakes. I would certainly hope we don't need seven of them, but we'll make some more. And we'll make a chocolate one this time. That's weird that she's like behind the fridge opening it up. And since we have that, let's go into the inventory and we may as well sell these frogs now. Though odds are we'll be able to breed them one more time before we age up the toddlers. But just so we have extra and we have the computer. But of course we'll need... Our money is going to like drop because we're going to have to get rid of the toddler beds and, and then get 
actual beds for the kids. <laughs> we will need real beds, though that's the main thing they need. They'll also need, like, we'll need a chess table, unless we go outside somewhere else to play, but it'd be a lot easier just to have a chess table at home, and we would need some uh, drawing table. We'll need at least one drawing table. Probably another computer. Yeah, their money's maybe going to drop down a little bit. But it won't be as hard for her to make money, I would think, since she won't have toddlers to look after. She'll have children to look after, which she'll have to help because she's going to have to be the one to teach them, like, their manners, which they can learn with the hat. But the conflict resolution, I find, is easier to teach. So I'm just trying to look and see. Uh, the coconut cake is 23, so it's more. So we're just going to do a regular... Oh, look, that's 18. But it's not winter, it's fall. <laughs> so we'll do... Uh, we'll do another cake just to be on the safe side. Hopefully three will be enough. I'm just going to take that into her inventory right now. So she, oops, what's your problem, sweet pea? You're hungry. Well, you're going to go grab some to eat, so you're okay. I think we're going to let Nora have a little uh, sleep while they are just doing their thing, a little disco nap, so she has a rest. And then when she is uh, done with that, we will... Did she make that other cake? No, I think she left it in the oven and it got thrown away by the nanny. Unfortunately. <laughs> so we have two cakes. Only two. Because I just saw the nanny take something out of the kit, out of the here. So are you eating? Okay, eat some food. There's lots of food. You don't need to talk to the nanny and don't, don't ask her for a sippy cup. There's a lot of food there that you can eat. And how full is this again? So we got, it's okay, good. We can get some bugs, that'll be fun. Because the kids, even the toddlers, could nurture the bugs. But I don't find that when I had a toddler nurturing the bugs, I didn't notice anything in terms of skill development with the toddler. Like there was no social or anything like that. Are you getting tired, sweet pea? You're <laughs> going to go to sleep. Looks like you are, and you're just all playful from playing with the toys. And there is the nanny. I don't know what happened with my cake, but oh well. I guess, I guess there could be worse things. So I can breed the frogs again. So she's sleeping. The toddlers are all kind of doing their own thing, and I'm just keeping an eye on them. But I do want to make sure we age them up in this part. So I <laughs> will be back. You come look at a book. <laughs> you don't need to make a mess. I will be back when uh, Nora's up or something happens. Well, Nora is up. I'm actually going to have her make that cake that she didn't finish. I'm going to have her make another one. So let's have her try a chocolate one this time since the second white one that didn't work for her. And let's hope this one is more <laughs> successful. And some of the kids are sleeping and that's fine. We'll just wake them up when it's time to age them up. And... Uh, Okay. Resume your cake. <laughs> I guess I have to monitor you. Don't go see Freddy. You don't need to put Freddy down. Freddy? You kind of need a bath. So why don't you see if you can uh, get a bath from the nanny. And hopefully Lindsay. I'm oh, sorry, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay's the nanny. Hopefully Nora finishes the cake this time, unlike last time. Fingers crossed, so hopefully the nanny gives the bath. Because I'll probably get rid of the bathtub and replace it with the shower, because I find showers are more useful. Another shower. <laughs> to do some home renovations. So there's that cake. So can we add the birthday candles? Yes, we can. She's getting a little bit hungry, but luckily it didn't matter. And uh, she should probably just go, after she's added those birthday candles, what she want to do? She wants to buy a dishwasher. We may do that. Uh, I guess you might level up in your dancing skill. We'll leave that. So why don't you come here and let me see where you are on your gardening aspiration. Your freelance botanist. You have to weed or water. Well, it looks like something needs watering. So why don't we weed all? And you have to spray these bugs. Spray areas. I don't know that you're going to get much done and I moved everything but one thing I haven't noticed and I don't know if this is just since the game update 
is that sometimes when you move things, all of a sudden there'll be 10 things on the plant, which there it's only been six since the gardening update. Uh, so some of our plants have more things on it than they would have otherwise. And why don't you, I'm just going to see what I want you to harvest and what do you have. Why don't we harvest some chrysanthemums and which I didn't move. That's probably why they don't have any more. And we'll harvest, let me see, what do we have here? We'll harvest the apples. Does this even have anything? We'll harvest those apples. And how many chrysanthemums? We'll get some more. We'll get one more chrysanthemum and then we'll sell everything. We'll sell all, including the carrots. So now we'll sell all. And we may as well, while we're at it, ask for gardening tips and check pockets for seeds. And see whether we can breed the frogs again, which we can. So I will do that while she is uh, selling everything. And we're getting a little bit of money <laughs> that we need because we're going to have some expenses. But of course, we're not going to do any of those purchases in this part. We're just going to age everybody up. That would be, if we continue with this, then I would do that with that. Or I might just do it off camera. I don't know. We'll see. Because I was going to put the family and their house on the gallery. Now, the question is, do you, would you prefer to see the house furnished? Oh, someone's making a mess. Okay, you don't need to make a mess. I guess you're all playful, so you want to make a mess. Why don't you come here and play dolls? And let me go back to see where my frogs were. Uh, they're, they're already done there. So we'll put them here. There we go. So probably what I'll do is I'll actually put the house on the gallery as it ends. And then if we continue with the Let's Play, I'll obviously give it a little renovation in, in the first part. And then I'll put that version up also in case anyone wants that version where it's been converted to be child friendly versus currently it's toddler friendly. So I think we have everything. So let's sell the frogs and see our count in terms of our money. We'll sell that and then we will put that in our inventory and leave everything else intact as it is. The reason I'm keeping, I harvested some of these things. Oh, it looks like she got some grow fruit. So we'll plant that, but we'll leave that. that doesn't, we don't need to do that right now. So we're going to come here and we'll take them one at a time and age them all up. So we're going to actually start with them alphabetically and we'll age up Abigail first. So we're going to come here and help blow out candles. Abigail. Oh, well, here it actually shows it alphabetical, even though when they're down there, they're not alphabetical. I'm just hoping that they stay alphabetical <laughs> in terms of their order down below because I, I had created them that way because I was hoping they would come down here in that way. But anyways, so we have 14,591 simoleons right now. And it looks like she was talking to Declan, but Declan, we, we need to do some aging. We need to get everybody aged up. Abigail. And it's a bit late now. Let's check Abigail. They should all be maxed. I should just do a quick check to make sure when someone's tired, someone's making a mess, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> okay, they're all definitely maxed. So now we're gonna <laughs> kind of kind of miss that one a little bit, but oh well, we kind of got it. So there we go. Abigail aged up since she was a charmer. They are going to do all, I would just have them do all their aspirations. I'm going to make her pick that as her main one. And she is going to be cheerful. There we go. And there's all of her things. And she should have the uh, top-notch toddler. And she does. <laughs> and there she is. So now, can you, we were just going to try adding birthday candles right away. You're not like in that room, are you? Because you're looking kind of bored there, Nora. So we're going to help age blow out candles. Bonnie. Of course, they're in order here. I keep forgetting. <laughs> they're all going to need makeovers. Okay. Let me get a picture this time. I was thinking of having a party, but <laughs> we didn't really know anybody to invite anyways. Just that vampire who we didn't like. Where are you going? We'll make her creative. 
There we go. And since you're standing right there, they're not showing an order of how they aged up. But maybe if I reload in, it will. Or maybe it's too close together. So we'll see if you can add the birthday candles. Your hair is going to have to be changed. There we go. So next, help blow out candles. Colleen, get that picture. And there's our Colleen. You have someone very angry. You're hungry. Well, <laughs> we can't have you taken away just as you're about to be aged up. And there we go. So she was fussy. And we'll make her a bookworm. More candles. Are you eating your carrot? We have to pay attention to you before we can age up anyone else. This is taking a while to age them all up. And the second can carrot, finally. Oh, I forgot we got this patchy with this trait. Anyways, <laughs> next child. Help blow out candles, Declan. There we go. Is Declan sleeping? No, Declan's awake. The only ones, oh, Colleen's gone and found somewhere to sleep. So here's Declan. There we go. Hopefully you got a picture. <laughs> And he was my independent one. We'll make him self-assured. So there he is. More candles. <laughs> and the next. Help blow out candles. Edward. We have three more left. There we go. More pictures. And there's our Edward. Anyways, and we're going to make him a genius. So there we go. What's your problem? Oh, it's dirty. Well, I can't do much about that. <laughs> Unless you clean up. Maybe you could clean up. Where is it dirty? Why don't you come clean up some of these messes? I don't know if it's dirty because it's somewhere else. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. So you can go clean up those messes and then maybe it won't be so dirty. Okay. We add the candles and on to the next child. <laughs> She's gotten hungry. She may start eating this cake anytime. But luckily we have one. We only have two more toddlers left and we have two cakes. So let's try Freddy. Freddy is next. Hopefully the third time's a charm. <laughs> we actually get Freddy aged up. They're starting to get tense and stuff because it's thundering out. <laughs> and he was silly we'll make him a geek so there we go and our last but not least we'll just add maybe we'll just we'll add the birthday candles how long is this cake good for long time add the birthday it seems like it, it is taking forever but i have keep pausing in between so let's see if we can be quicker with aging up grant get that picture and there we go that one worked the first time. The only one we had an issue with was Freddy. And he is going to be, sorry, Grant's going to be active. So there we go. We have all our toddlers aged up to children. They all need makeovers. So I will get that done and take a quick look at what they look like after. So I've given them all their makeovers and I did try to consider what their hair was like as toddlers to the best of my ability when I was uh, changing their hair and whatnot in Create a Sim. I'll just have their outfits and stuff going by as I just sort of talk about the fact that the vote is still live. It is live until this Friday, uh, June 26th. And if it does go ahead with the Super Kids Challenge, which we're going to use them. And like I said previously, we're going to max um, essentially complete all their childhood aspirations, get them to get all their scout badges and get their parenthood character values all in a positive range before they would age up and Nora would work on some goals too well the kids were all doing those things so of course Nora will have to be involved because she will be needed to help with some of those character values um if it does go live it'll be back on Friday July 3rd with the first part of that so I will be putting the family on the gallery as they have now been made over and I will also put the completed house from 
the end of the toddler challenge on the gallery too. So do vote if you're interested in seeing more, but that's going to be it for this Let's Play. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!